Butters. Hey guys, my name is Sigman and welcome to Neverum. This is a game on Indie or Indie, wow, Game Jolt, if I could talk properly. <laughs> you know I'm really good for that. This was recommended to me by KRB. Now, I actually wanted to kind of throw something out there. You may know something with the title of this video. It is going to be called Fan Pick. So every now and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you. what I need you all to do is pick a game that you would like to see me play. But here's the catch. It needs to be free. It needs to be, the reason why I want it to be free is number one, so I can play it. Number two, so if somebody else Let's say you're new to this channel or that you're just now watching this video if this is a game that you'd like to play You can just go in and select it free of charge. No problem at all now Occasionally, I may pick up a may pick up a game that costs some money just really depends the reason why is the availability For some games that that you know that costs money Yeah, not everybody has it for the longest time. I couldn't keep up with the new games but, You know, but anyways, yeah, let, let's go on this. Let's go on to this game So the real cool thing is you have to have a map like a different map either printed or something So I have my map over here and from what I understand the way the map is set up You will get lost if you do not have a map So now we got the puzzle piece. That's that's the first step to the uh to the oh, Okay, that makes sense Oh, shy. we're making it. We're solving a puzzle. I'm really good. No, no, I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. You all know I am rather terrible at puzzle games, but I am awesome at having birds chirp in my background. Okay, so I know according to the map over here, it is down here. Now, the, I'm gonna leave a link to this game in the description below, and it, with it, there's a link to a map that you can either print off for yourself or you can have it separately. Like I have mine on a separate tab because I don't have a printer hooked up because I'm lazy. So we're just gonna. I really hope I'm heading the right way. The map says it's down and slightly to the left. And it said you can get lost in the snow forever. I hope that's not legit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cool. Okay. Wait a second. I'm at the... If this is what I think it is, I'm at the... Where am I? These look like people. Hi, people. How are you? Okay, well, obviously they're not interested in talking to me. Douches. Where am I at? Okay, I've seen a bunch of flag points. This obviously looks like a wreckage. That looks like a dead duck. Or it's probably a dead person, you know, me being insensitive and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a plane crash. I mean, you know, there we go. Captain Obvious back at it again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is, this is good. This is very good. Okay, cool. I found it. Finally found it. Okay, this is where it's another puzzle piece. This looks like forests and stuff. Oh! That's different, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to get the other pieces or try to bring this back and put the piece in I'd imagine I can do all that later so what I need to do according to the map is I basically just need to head straight north from here I really hope the the blue paths are just kind of like guidelines but if they are they're not very good ones it's not a very good guide path to where you need to go so I don't know if you could just walk straight to the item or not I don't know I learned something new every day I'm more than likely wrong on that there's probably an easy system maybe I missed it maybe I missed it in the description of the game itself that's a frozen rib cage okay seeing all kinds of sad stuff out in the middle of the snow gosh can you imagine if you were in this situation where you were out in the middle of a blizzard or uh, like this or out in the you know middle of a snowy wasteland or even a desert just anything like this by yourself no civilization around you no one to talk to wow that would be bad What's that? That's a red dot. What is that? Those are red dots. What is this? I am slightly confused right now. Were those good red dots? That's different. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so now I'm getting too off the beaten path here. You better not be leading me astray. Oh, wait. No, it's taking me back to the... To the place to drop the puzzle off. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, I guess I have to drop the puzzle piece off then. I really didn't want to. Yep, there we go. I was right. My suspicion was correct. So we go over here and then drop this off. So that puzzle's done. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you all about, you know, I kind of touched on it a little bit earlier about, you know, fan pick. I, want, uh, I wanted something to where to try to get you all more actively involved. 
kind of like, hey, you know what, you know, hey, let's, I found this really cool game, check it out. I want other people to be able to play it too, at least in, in this situation, absolutely. Because when I started out this channel, when this, you know, when the channel first began, I didn't really have any money at all. Like a lot of the stuff I bought were really cheap games or stuff that I've had for a while. And I wasn't really able to go after the new stuff. I wasn't really able to, I don't know, to be able to just to do the new shiny stuff that everybody else was doing. And now, now I'm at a little bit of a better place. This should be where the puzzle is. Okay. Really? Oh, that's cool. That's a whole had a whole added dynamic to this thing, isn't it? I wonder if you can only carry one puzzle piece at a time. Mm, that's a thought. Never thought about that before. Okay. And right there's the puzzle piece. Oh boy. Okay, so is there anything? I highly doubt this is like anything where you can just randomly search wherever. Can I just exit through here though? Nope, sure can. Okay, but like I was saying though, I wanted to try to come up with something. I've been trying to come up with new ideas, try to get people, try to get all of you more actively involved in the channel. You know, that way so it's fun for you, you know, it's not just, not just us playing, you know, me playing a game or you watching and then see, feeling, I want you to feel like that we're playing together, that kind of thing. I want you all to be entertained with this. But hey, I mean, if there's any way I can, anything I could do to make the experience a lot more interactive, I'm going to try it at least. So we're going to stick with the, uh, fan picks for a bit and just see how that goes and see how what you all think about it and I'm gonna see if I can't find this other puzzle actually you know what? I'm going to head south I'm gonna go and turn this puzzle back piece back in and then I'm gonna go hunt for the other one which if I'm not mistaken should be easy to find I'm hoping the only issue is with the this level being as big as it is or as my character being as small as it is it does take time for it to get going so it is a little bit on the slow side but on the same hand it's kind of like it makes you think about the dread of it. it makes you think about just how awful it could be you know being in a situation like this i wouldn't want it mm -mm. why do you think i never go skiing mm -mm -mm. i can barely stand on skates skates or I, I tried to skateboard maybe twice my entire life the last time i was i think six i busted my elbow up really bad and i was like yeah skateboarding isn't for me nothing against anybody who does it but me personally no i'm too much of a klutz to get on a skateboard yeah that's always fun, yeah. Fun for other people, not for me, because I end up getting hurt all the time. And then it's gonna crack more, right? Okay, watch it like release some monster from the abyss and then I just doom the entire planet. Okay, so the other puzzle piece is basically what I need to do is go north back to that ship and then head due west. At least that's how it looks on here. Now the scaling is a bit different on this. Like the ship on here is a lot bigger or is a lot smaller. Like the Stonehenge thing was a little bit further out than what, uh, than what the map says it is, or at least that's how it feels like when you're walking through it. So it kind of remind, puts me in mind of the what game was it? The horror game I played a while back, Colot. I never finished that game, and I probably never will. It was a it was a decent game. The only issue was it was very very easy to get lost, and if you weren't careful where you were going, and it just I don't know. It just and it got really really hard to commentate on, really really hard to get into the game because after a while I got bored with it. You know, it wasn't fun constantly getting lost all the time. Now, there may be some fun in it, like, oh, we're discovering stuff. But yeah, it just really took it out of me. It took the wind out of my sails for that game. All right, so we are back at the ship. So at this point, I need to go left. I'm really glad that, uh, you know, a huge shout out to KRB. Thank you so much for recommending this. It's really cool just to get to try stuff that you all want me to want to see me play or that you play that just in general, it's awesome. So I'm always, always for recommendations. Just really depends on what the game is sometimes and, you know, ooh, what's this? Is this, uh, that's stuff to take me off the beaten path, isn't it? I think it is. I think those are supposed to be trees. I don't know. All right, so we just need to stick to the path, which is just heading due west. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is it, the last puzzle piece. Ooh, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm really excited. Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. Cape Man markings and stuff. Okay, cool, yes, this is the last puzzle piece, so I wonder what's going to happen. That looks like Cobra from G.I. Joe. Look at that, does that not look like Cobra? It does to me. So, what am I releasing? Cobra from his deep slubbler to where he can get his vengeance upon G.I. Joe. Okay, cool. All right, so it is giving me directions so I can just follow. It's a straight shot. Okay, cool. Or a diagonal shot, I guess. Straight shot that way, down that way. Yeah, that works for me. I know some of you have asked, you know, hey, Sigman, the channel has hit 160 subscribers. I typically don't talk about this in a, in a Let's Play because it, it, it kind of dates it a little bit. I tried to make that its own thing. But 
and I'm, I'm grateful. I think it's awesome, y'all. I'm seeing you know, the channel's growing, and more and more people are becoming more active in the community of the channel, which really, really has me excited. I'm glad to see some people just enjoy the content. And not, and I'm not trying to make it sound robotic or anything like that, you know, enjoying the content. I mean, that's the, it is content technically, but deep down as somebody who wants to entertain people, it just, it really makes my day to see other people enjoy this, what I'm doing. You know, it really does. All right, so enough of that stuff. Let's see what this puzzle piece does. Let's do anything cool. Was I not supposed to do that? Okay, those are the puzzle pieces I, I, I worked so hard to get. Pardon? This is different. Okay, so is this another puzzle? Is there like a... Was there a map for this? I didn't know. Okay, so maybe... Prob probably not inside. What's this? Okay, so it's an arrow pointing. Okay, I'll follow the, follow the arrows, I guess. Maybe that's a helpful arrow. At least I hope it's a helpful arrow. Watch it kill me and then like, yeah, watch you have the ability to die in this game and it starts me all the way over. I would be super pissed. Okay, so this is an arrow pointing with the plus sign right here. Okay, so it's pointing over here. All right. Ah, this is really, you know, for a little game like this, it's actually pretty cool. I mean, it'd be cooler if the sprite had like a little bit more of a, I don't know, body to it, I guess. But I mean, it, it's, each developer has their own style to the game. So I, I respect that. I really do. That's just personal, you know, pickiness kicking in there. Okay, so what's going over here? I wonder, wonder, why is it flashing? This isn't going to be like a, you know, a, like a, one of those random horror games for absolutely no reason, is it? it? Scares the poop out of me. Oh, hey, look. This looks like a little area for people to sit. I'm observant. Okay, let's go check. Right, what are these? If I had to guess in my experience, I'd say those are... Either, I think those are body bags. I think those are body bags. That's a lot of people. Yeah, there's crosses on the walls. That's a good indicator. That's a bunch of dead people. Aw, that's sad. Okay, so let's, uh, maybe what I need to do is over here. The music for the ambiance in this is a little creepy, you know, with the flashing lights and the, oh, it's getting darker, isn't it? Oh, boy. Nevarum. Oh, that's it, really? Okay. I'm guessing so. Okay, well, that's it for Nevarum. Nevarum. Sorry, I have a bad habit of butchering names. Okay, well, that that was an okay game. It was interesting. It's a little bit of a discovery. Dis yeah, discovery. Pardon? Okay, I'm assuming that's it, because all I'm hearing at this point is just some heavy breathing and stuff. That's kind of creepy. Well, yeah, no, thank you so much for, the, for recommending this game to me. It is interesting. The concept is interesting. It's just discovery, and it's... The type of art that it is, I guess, I guess you would call it that. I'm, it's just, you know, again, discovering, looking for the pieces, and then just realizing how easy it is to be alone. That, at least that's just kind of what I got from this. And I don't mean to, to the developer of this, if you're watching this by chance, I do not mean any disrespect by calling it some kind of art, because uh, I am still relatively new to this, to doing this, to doing reviews like this. But it is very interesting, and just, it makes you think. It really does. And I like games that make me think. Well, anyways, let me know what you all think about this in the description. And then the, bleh. My brain is pleh. <laughs> well, anyways, let me know what you all think about this in the comment section down below. If you have any other games that you would like to see me play specifically for fan pick or maybe any other games in general, let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button, like button, douche. Share the video with a friend. That would be great. And hey, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more great content. Keep the requests coming. I'm having a lot of fun with them. So... Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It is getting kind of late. I should probably go to bed. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you all again so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Did you see his head? Hot! So hot! There we go. Super hot! Split his head like an apple. Ah, super hot! God, I'm so excited to play this. Like I'm like geeking out. Take it slow. Oh, Matrix, Matrix, Matrix!